Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome to Room 303, a free indie horror game that was made in seven days for a game jam on itch.io or Game Jolt. I assume uh, itch.io because uh, I, th this is where I got the game. Either way, uh, the theme of the game is the game takes place in one room only, so... Yeah, I don't really expect a lot of scares to be honest, but you know what? I'm more here for the visuals, and so far the visuals are nice. I mean, look, look, look at that. You, you got your fire exit here to exit the game, and you got your handle here to play the game, so let's play. Oh, what in the name oh, of God? No, 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 please, no. Fix this. Fix what? Fix the broken window? Fix whatever happened to this guy? Fix the broken glass? Fix the bed? I don't know, you have to be more specific here, dude. By the way, the voice acting is actually pretty decent. And right now, our man is having a panic attack of all sorts. Holy crap, chill out, dude. Play the guitar. Play some Wonderwall there for, for us, will you? Hmm. Very soothing, but not exactly what I was hoping for. So, ha what do I fix? The, seriously, the, the TV? The lamp? Clicky, clicky. Got some Windex. And this game isn't playing as smoothly as I hoped it would, but then again, I've the game on at high settings, and my system is kind of low end. So, uh, yeah. Hoping to sell my computer at some stage and maybe upgrade to a newer system. But that's just a pipe dream at the moment. Okay, I can mess around with. Okay. Took me a while to fix that. Oh, but seriously, uh, what do I have to fix? This clock? Is it a clock? A radio? A router? phone? I don't know. I don't know these things. These things I do not know. What? Guess that being a silly gooby goober. Can I fix this mug perhaps? This book? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Well, I turned the mug upright. What else? Okay, I can't do anything about this. I mean, I'm not a miracle worker. I mean, I can't bring the dead back to life. What's with this? Is this... Is this some sort of mattress? Is this some sort of pull-out bed? F Let's take another look out here. Oh, wow, that's actually nice. You can see the traffic going by. Cool. I like it. Gotta get me some screenshot material right here. Alright, we're done with that. But seriously though, what next? Oh, I can interact with this lamp. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, okay, think, think. S stop blinking. Stop blinking! Okay, t stop blinking. What? Well, you want what to stop blinking? This lamp? It's not even on. Okay, fix that. Turn it on. To put a bit of light on the subject, and boom. What do I do? What do I do next? Fix it! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, what, what next? What else do I need to fix? TV? Dead body, what do I do with it? Just fuck it out the window? Just go... Whoosh. By the way, what exactly happened here? Did he just parasail down from the next floor up and crash into the window and break his neck? I don't know, maybe... Or maybe there was just a bit of a fight and he got shoved out the window a little bit. Who knows, I'm not a detective. I can't detect these things. Okay, gotta set this picture right. 
Play with the phone? No. This AC unit? Play more soothing melodies? <clears throat> Just play them jazzy blues. Okay, I can't interact with it anymore. Um, time changes. I can just barely make that out. Okay, set this upright. No, take take this mattress from the wall. Play around with the Windex. Oh no, put the TV upright. Damn it! Fix it. I'm, I'm trying. Fix. I am not a technician either. I do not know how to fix this TV. I mean, for something that was that was on the ground and stood on, it's in pretty good nick. Oh boy! Oh! What happened to you? What happened? What have I done? <laughs> No, I, I didn't do this. I told you this already. I do not know these things. These things I do not know. I do not know what happened. I, mean, I don't know what happened to Orange Lightning here, but hopefully, um, yeah, things didn't go well for him. So what now? Do I just get the Kleenex and clean my worries away? Play with this. Play with the clock again. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I'm only finding these things out by chance. I mean, it seems that I can only interact with objects in a certain chronological order. That's kind of weird. Oh. I fix a couch. I didn't do this. I know I didn't. I don't understand. Yes, you do. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. But seriously, what now? Oh God. Oh God, please. No. Oh no. Not now. Not now. Go away. I'm sorry. No way. No way. What, it could just be room service. It might help me clean up this mess. Oh, wait, you know what? I know, I know what it's going to be. A jump scare. Wait for it. Three, two, one. Boo. Stop. Please. Oh. It's not real. Oh, oh, okay, uh, uh, uh. that must be your twin, with the exact same wound, in the exact same place, wearing the exact same clothes, in the exact same building. So what are you going to do about it, Jack? You're here for revenge? Too bad you're not going to get it. Door slam. Oh. Never mind. <sighs> what now? The wind Windex here is the only thing that I... Oh! Oh, it's actually called Kleenox. Close enough. So what do I do? Do I just uh, spray him away? Go on. Get, get out of here. Okay, now that didn't do me any favors at all. Maybe just use them to window shards. Or the non existent window pane. Or what's ever left of it. No? Oh. I don't understand what this is supposed to do, but. Hmm.
All right, seriously, what's the end game here? Oh, at least we figured out one mystery. This turns out to be a phone. Hello. What did we do? What do you mean? What did we do? I don't. What did we do? Oh, you sit here, Jack. Jack, get out of here. Um. The end game is now. All right. I think I know what I have to do. And take a parachute and jump. Maybe not. Mess around with the TV again. Mess around with the light. No. Couch. Painting. Oh. Now this is where you get the jump scare, I bet. <gasps> No, that's not possible. This is impossible. You're triplets. Oh, reset. All right, so that was room 303. As you can see here, made in seven days for Teria Games Game Jam. Team, one room, all voices and writing. The Ronin Enigma. Game programming and developed by Joey Neiman. So it was a one person job. Well, the programming and development. But yeah, I suppose that it wasn't that bad for a game made in seven days. At least he didn't try to claim it's going to be a full fledged game like you see many indie studios pushing out there on pages like uh, Unilad Gaming but then again it's not really the indie, stu the indie game studios that say that it's normally the uh, publishers are often use like Unilad Gaming themselves they normally take quotes out of context and blow it out of proportion and it is so annoying but just going back on track yeah this game was pretty decent G gets a thumbs up from me and I hope the developer actually works on more games because this game looked pretty pretty decent, pretty nice for a game that was made on Unity Engine because I uh, remember going back a few years ago everybody used to be taking the piss out of Unity because of all the shoddy little jump scare horror games that were made from it soon after the release of games like Slender, uh, Jeff the Killer or, or, or what not. They are just so lackluster and, and repetitive. But no, it's uh, nice to see a fresh take. It's nice to see people... Um, doing more with game engines like this even though they are free now as for the assets I'm not sure if they were stock or not I'm assuming some of them had to be stock at least the textures the character models I'm going to take uh, faith in that the developer made them himself and if he did good job good on you make some more of this shit it was actually good so guys you want to do if you did like this video be sure to comment rate share and subscribe now. See you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.